the Senate and House of Representatives recently constituted a several member committee each to harmonize the different versions of the electoral bill passed by both chambers in July. In July, shortly before embarking on an annual recess, the Senate and House of Representatives passed different versions of the Electoral Amendment Bill. Over two months after, controversies still trail the passage of the bill. Premium Times reports how the federal legislature passed the legislation amid chaos and disagreement arising from some controversial sections of the bill. One of such sections is Clause 52, which deal with the electronic transmission of results of election, a key recommendation from Nigerians including the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC. In passing the bill, the Senate changed the section from the Commission, may transmit results of election by electronic means, where and when practicable to the commission may consider electronic transmission provided the national network coverage is adjudged to be adequate and secure by the nigerian communications commission and approved by the national assembly but the house of representatives retained the original provision with the 2023 general election about 15 months away, some Nigerians are still angry with the Senate over its version, which they described as an attempt to discard the use of electronic transmission of results and ultimately hinder the nation's electoral process. INEC, on its part, has repeatedly said it is ready for electronic transmission official election results but this just one of the differences in versions of the electoral bill passed by the lawmakers besides the popular clause 52 there are other major clauses of the bill where the conference committee will harmonize or concur on they include the following we have clause 5 which deals with the national you know the annual estimates and accounts pardon while the senate version prescribes that INEC submit estimates of expenditures income and payment to the ministry of finance not later than august 31st and every financial year the house simply prescribes that INEC keep proper accounts and records of each financial year which shall be audited we also have clause 16 which deals with the power to print and issue voters card while the senate prescribe you know prescribes pardon a fine of five hundred thousand or imprisonment or a term not more than one year or both for persons found with more than one valid voters card the House prescribed 100,000 or imprisonment for a term not more than one year or both. We also have Clause 23, which deals with offenses of buying and selling voters' card. The Senate deleted a subclause of this section, which frowns at persons in unlawful possession of any voters' card, whether issued in the name of any voter or not. The House retained the sub clause. Clause 24, with these with offenses relating to registration of voters, the Senate deleted a sub clause that criminalizes the act of making false statements in any application for registration as a voter. The House retained, you know, retained pardon, their part. Clause 15, which is about the right to challenge the issue of a ballot paper. The Senate version rates a candidate or polling agent 
may challenge the right of a person to vote on the ground that the person is not a registered voter in the polling unit. The House version rates a candidate on polling or probably polling agent pardon, may challenge the right of a person to vote on such ground and in accordance with procedures as provided for in this bill. Clause 63, which deals with the counting of votes and forms. The Senate prescribed a fine of 500,000 or imprisonment or a term of six months for a preceding officer who willfully contravenes any provision of the section. The House, however, prescribed 100,000 naira for or probably a term of six months. Clause 73, which deals with forms for use at elections. The Senate prescribed 1 million naira or imprisonment for a term of one year or both for preceding officers who intentionally announce a sign and election result in violation of the procedure provided for in the bill. The House prescribed 200,000 for a in or a term of one year or both. Consequently, both chambers have constituted the Harmonization Committee in line with parliamentary procedures. On September 22, the Senate President Ahmed Lawan constituted the Conference Committee to harmonize the different versions of the bill. It comprises seven members, mostly critics of the use of electronic transmission of results. The House set up its own committee on September 28, dominated by APC members, which has the majority in the chamber. Most members are opposed to transmitting election results electronically. Here are the members of the committees of the two chambers and what you need to know about them. We have Abdullahi Yahaya, is the Senate leader who was named the chairman of the committee. Kabiru Gaya was the third Republic governor of Kano State. Ajibola Basiru is the chairman of the Senate Committee on Media and Public Affairs. Danjuma Goje is the former governor of Kumbi State and a former junior minister in the Obasanjo administration 1999 to 2003. Sanin Musa the lawmaker who represents Niger North Senatorial District is currently the chairman of the Senate Committee on Senate Services. Uche Ekunife, Mrs. Ekunife is a former bank official, represents Anambra Central in the upper legislative chamber of the PDP in the, on the PDP ticket. What is your thought about this? That has been said. We have James Faleke. Though Mr. Faleki hails from Kogi State North Central Region, he represents Ikeja, federal constituency of Lagos, in the Southwest Region. What is your own reaction to this plan development? Who would like you to share your own point of view with us via the comment section on this that has been said? Who would like you to share your own reaction concerning the plan situation of things? We have been hearing about electoral amendment for a very long time talking about the electronic transmission of election results of which some people have gone against because not every part of nigeria has proper network coverage we would like you to drop your thoughts on this plan development but before we go let's people's reactions and know their thoughts about this let's see what people have felt concerning the print situation of things in nigeria she so reacted to this and said if the southern lawmakers like themselves let them vote against electronic transmission of election results then they will be ready to serve the north forever what is your thought about this that if you know what is good for you the southern you know lawmakers don't you ever vote against electronic transmission of election results because if you do then you're ready to serve the north forever what is your thought about this don't you think election you know, electronic transmission of election results will be very good in accounting, you know, and counting the votes. 
without any form of rigging. Tell me what is the harmonization in a duplication? What is your thought about this? We would like you to drop your thought on the spending development. We would like you to share on point with us via the comment section. Don't forget that still on the issue of electoral amendments. And as we can see, 14 Nigerian lawmakers who will decide the fate of electronic transmission results. We have heard about them. Do you think the election, you know, the electronic transmission of election results will be the next, you know, step to take in the electoral amendment? We would like you to share on point of view with us on this.